Well, I gotta keep up with uh, new equipment, and I just upgraded my uh, Nikon D5200 to this new model Nikon D5300. Uh, this was a kit came with uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens, uh, but I kept my old expensive lens, and I gave the new one with the old camera, which I sold privately. So the price of this is about 800 bucks, and the old camera sold for uh, 340. You know, so up upgrade was cheaper than uh, buying a new one. Now, you see over here, right? That's the first sign that this is a new model, 5300. Okay, and pretty much the camera looks the same as uh, as uh, 5200, except it's a bit smaller. Uh, it's about one ounce. It's lighter by about one ounce or 25 grams. Uh, the screen is bigger by uh, 0 0.2 inches or five millimeters, like the diagonally. And because of that, it also has a uh, more pixels. But the main, I the main two main different uh, differences from the 5200 is that first of all this one comes with a new updated processor like the sensor is this, uh, the same as on D5200 but uh, the processor is the same it's called uh, Xpeed I think Xpeed 4 the same as they use now on the latest uh, 810 professional camera 810 the one that costs like 33 or 3400 US uh, and because of that, the camera now can shoot the 1080p uh, video at 60 frames a second, non-interlaced, progressive. Uh, D5200 can only shoot 1080p at 30 progressive frames per second. And 60 was available, but it was interlaced. So uh, I'm going to go out today and do, um, you know, like a sample, do some shots and some uh, videos. So all the controls are the same. Uh, pretty much uh, so new processor lighter the camera is lighter the biggest slightly bigger screen uh, yeah supports higher frames per second rate for videos and one other new feature here is that they they added a Wi-Fi Wi-Fi support uh, so now you can control this camera from your iPad with, as a remote basically you can take pictures and stuff like that so it's a cool feature but I haven't tried it yet so that one was totally missing on a D5200 even though you could buy uh, like a uh, little you know attachment for the camera. It, it supported Wi-Fi but it did not have the built-in Wi-Fi. This one does and you can upload uh, videos and pictures directly to uh, social uh, websites you know or to your computer without wire so it's a cool feature and also now it has a built-in GPS which means that you can add uh, uh, tagging like location tags to your pictures which can be a cool feature if you travel somewhere abroad you know and then you want to remember uh, uh, where you took that particular uh, photo so uh, the GPS will add the location tag to help you stay on track so this is it so this is the new Nikon D5200 with a better processor and a Wi-Fi and GPS. So thanks for watching. I'll uh, do a uh, sample pictures and a sample movie in a, in a in a different video. Take care.